My 21st birthday was coming up and I didn't know what to do to celebrate it. So I asked Instagram and you guys had some really good ideas. I'm going on a road trip, to skydiving, to a photo expedition, to going to London, to Disney World, and someone even said cycle from north to south of Vietnam. But only one really, really stood out to me and challenged me. Hitchhike across your homeland. And now we are... What's going on guys? So we are currently in Esperance. We've been hitchhiking for the past day now. We stopped into a really cool bar and like just had a night with the locals and all that with lots of the truck drivers. <laughs> Literally, as soon as we got into the car, he gave us some beers. He shouted us dinner. He shouted us beers at the pub. It was such a good time. Bryce, we owe you, mate. Um, we're hitchhiking to Melbourne. You missed an N. No! Perfect. What did he say? He said, just pull up here boys, I'm gonna move a couple guns out the back. <laughs> what are we doing? Dude, that's actually probably one of the most incredible sunsets I've ever seen in my life. How do we sleep? Not well. Not well, why? I didn't sleep very much at all last night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Daniel slept fine, I heard him snoring plenty. <laughs> We're in Ravensthorpe, middle of nowhere on our way to Esperance. Alright boys. Thank you so much. Alright uh, mate, all the best. Yeah, easy. You too. Appreciate all the chats and all that. Stay safe. See you mate, yeah, all the best. I mean, it was a nice hour we spent in your Esperance, that's a bit sexual, <laughs> but we got a bounce. Yeah, and now here we are, standing on the side of a road, waiting for some good luck. in Esperance for like four and a half hours trying to hitch a ride, having no luck whatsoever. These chicks go past us and then 10 minutes later they come back for us and they say, hey, you want a lift? Pure Australian Outback kind of shindig. And now here we are in Norseman. Oh no, he didn't. Give me a car, boy! Good piss, Dan? The best. Ah! Brady, come on, you know you want to. I mean, I can. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> just jump on the bonnet, just like, whatever. Just jump on the bonnet, we'll jump, you can jump over there, whatever you want to do. <laughs> just, do you need a hand? Oh, I'm here. We're just about to explore this this abandoned mine. What's your barbed wire?
Yeah, she doesn't even have a torch. She is and she's carrying a baby. Far <laughs> out. <laughs> Super mum over here. <laughs> but how old is this cave? I don't know, they started mining in 1894, so maybe, so somewhere around there. A horse and his owner was like walking through Dundas yep. to um, Baladonia. And then on the way, they were like stopped in Northern for the night. And his horse was named Norseman. And he dug up, he woke up in the morning. Oh yeah, we mounted the, the Yeah, and he woke, up in the morning, he woke up in the morning. And those gold mines were absolutely sick. Well, to be fair, they were just dark, deep holes that we heard ourselves in. <laughs> they were pretty sick. They were really cool. And they were built in like 1894. It's 6am right now. We snuck into a caravan park last night. Probably shouldn't be saying it because we were still in the caravan park. Last night was absolutely mental. Dude, that's the craziest day so far. <laughs> Brady, how are we feeling? We're getting desperate. It's not going well. We had one trucker stop while Daniel was in the shitter and he offered us a ride. And I said, two people? He was like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, I'll go grab my friend. He's just in the BP. Ran in, gave Daniel a shout, ran out. His truck had gone. That was a big shame. My heart has dropped. <laughs> And I never felt so bad doing a <laughs> shit in my life. <laughs> Dude, we've got to live with some Canadians or Americans. <laughs> Haven't deciphered it yet. <laughs> so, America or Canada? America. Oh, oh cool. Whereabouts? Uh, the States. We're from Florida. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. We are literally in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We couldn't be more remote. Is this like Australia? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a, you have a coffee? Yeah, I you have need one. your coffee. You buy it one corner and you're on this side. Now put it in your coffee, in your drink, and then you drink through it. It's just straw. This is really good, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's getting the juices. Yeah. Oh, it melts. Yeah, yeah. So put the whole thing in your mouth. Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. No, you're here, bro. I'm losing it. <laughs> Recommended? Highly recommended. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are right now. We're thinking about camping in this area in the Western Australian version of Pompeii. We're back on a car again. <laughs> might want to get a bit more stable on this. Too, yeah, right? true. Probably get a bit more stable. Right foot up. There we go. <laughs> I feel like Jack Sparrow. Actually sit, actually sit though, sit. Brady, I got you, don't worry, I got you. No, you, you don't even got yourself. <laughs> I want you to fall off. We've been on top of two different cars in the space of 24 hours. It's actually been crazy just how much, just one stick of the thumb and how much adventure can happen, can occur from that. I love it how you meet someone and you just don't know how long or how much in common you all have. You don't know how much of an adventure it's going to be until you wind up on top of a truck.
Uh, welcome everybody to the highlight of the trip. Uh, we finally arrived at the Great Australian Bite. to Daniel's suicide. It's not, doesn't know what's about to happen, but I'm worried. Absolutely fucking nada. I get sprayed. <laughs> oh, I got sprayed anyway. Fuck. After 20 hours of driving out of Western Australia, we are finally now in South Australia. Today has been a good day. This morning was a really, really bad sleep. I really need to visit a chiropractor. We are in Adelaide, everything's flat and everything's boring. But we found something interesting. <laughs> we found Lime Scooters. And we're about to hop on. Yeah! I feel like a way less cooler version of Casey Neistat. <laughs> <laughs> Cruising through Adelaide on electric scooters, not a bad time. All right, so we made it out of Adelaide on those electric scooters. And so now we're in the last leg of the journey to Melbourne, hopefully. Let's just get fully out of Adelaide and let's tackle this last stretch. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, she sees us, she sees us, she sees us, yeah. This is going to be a hard one. Are you much of a vlogger? Well, you are today. <laughs> Boy Benji here just picked us up and uh, he went and showed us this almond farm. Soon enough, he's going to be uh, hitchhiking uh, to Newcastle to see his girlfriend. Is there anything you want to say to your girlfriend right now? See you soon, babe. Oh, my man, this guy, he's going to go. You're going to go to Newcastle. Look at you. Yeah, maybe some hitchhiking. Yeah, out of boy, out of boy. I love this way of traveling because you will never know what just might happen. You'll never know what you will do or who you will meet. You just like, let go. Let go of your travel plans, let go of deadlines, and just letting go of trying to control everything. And somehow, with a bit of luck, and after six days, six drivers, and 3,628 kilometers, we made it. We somehow, finally, made it to Melbourne. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe along the way I'll figure it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly.